Ambassador Boucher, currently there seems to be a big cloud hanging over India-Pakistan relations. The peace talks between the two countries are on hold. India's cricket team is no longer going to visit Pakistan. At the same time, Pakistan has launched a formal complaint about alleged Indian um, you know, airspace violation into Pakistani territory. How concerned are you that situations could actually deteriorate, that tensions could rise? Mm. I think, I think we're concerned, we're always concerned when it comes to India and Pakistan. Um, but we're, we're also first and foremost concerned about the attacks on Mumbai. These were horrible attacks. I think uh, they affected India differently. There were huge numbers of casualties. They affected us differently. There were six Americans killed. Um, and it really is important, I think, to all of us that there be you know, a thorough investigation, that there be punishment for those responsible, but we also find out what else they might have planned what else might be in the cards for this, the groups that carried it out. And so I think uh, really, instead of seeing differences between India and Pakistan on this subject, I think fundamentally we are seeing um, from India and Pakistan the same thing. They are both saying we need to get to the bottom of this. And I hope we can see that done in a cooperative fashion. Well, on that point, President Zardari in a recent interview said that he doesn't see any conclusive evidence to support claims made by India, the United States, and Britain that the Mumbai attackers were trained in Pakistani terrorist training camps. Now, does that come as a surprise to you, especially since you're talking about both India and Pakistan cooperating in this investigation? I don't, I don't think it's a time for conclusive evidence, frankly. The investigation is underway. You don't have conclusive evidence until the end of the investigation. But what we do think is that both sides are in a position to develop information. The Indian government, obviously, because they've got some of the people in Mumbai in custody, and they've got uh, a train of evidence uh, that they can follow. Uh, but also the Pakistani authorities have taken action against some groups uh, based on their soil. They've detained certain individuals that might have been involved. And they have access to a different stream of information. And what we need to do is to get both sides to develop the information and to start sharing it back and forth so that we do get a complete and in the end, conclusive investigation on how this happened and what else might be threatened. Which brings me to this question, what more can the United States do? You are putting pressure on Pakistan to move forward with this investigation, to take action. What more do you think you can do, especially when you get statements saying we need more evidence, we need India to share evidence? What, what we've seen from uh, the Indian side is a willingness to work with us and to have us work with them, since obviously India's in the lead. We've seen it, uh, statements from the Pakistani side that they're willing to work with everybody and that they're serious about uh, getting to the bottom of this attack and dealing with these groups. And frankly, we've seen a lot of action. We've seen detentions, camps closed. We've seen action against the uh, Jamaat ad who have been listed now by the United Nations. So what we need to do is turn that action on both sides into cooperation and really just together get to the bottom of this. To the extent the United States can help both sides, singly or together, uh, we'll do 